Okay, welcome to part three of this card. I've just stamped the uh, mountain ears right in there. They're kind of going in that direction, but if I fill in their backpacks, they could be coming in. But I just figured I'd have them heading out of the uh, the piece like that. I thought about putting them down here, um, which would give like a grandeur to this whole place. It would make it much larger in scale. But I thought, eh, I want to keep this for... Um, you know, some other elements right in here. So I figured there's going to be enough um, kind of little sparkly elements and tension getting types of things in this lower section right here. And I didn't, I don't know, I thought I might want not want to distract uh, from that. But I don't know, I still, <laughs> having these smaller people down here, I thought, yeah, that, you know, that might be something I want to do in the future. Okay, so let's get started on this. Um, no time to waste for uh, having some fun here. All right, so I think that this is going to be a really fantastic medium um, for this. And that's these uh, multicolored glass shards here. And let's start off with some of these. Now, I'm not going to... Uh, the way that I was applying it in the first couple times on my other pieces, I was just laying down a bunch of stuff and pouring this on top of it, but... I don't know, this is such kind of specific little, oh, kind of elements in here. And they are rather attention getting. So I figured, no, I mean, some of these might be just so small that I might just lay them in there. But I think with some of these larger pieces that are specifically colored, I mean, they, they can be as uh, kind of integral, integral as a, laying down like a crystal like I do and I add those in individually you know one by one so why not do the same thing with uh, some of these types of elements in here so I'll see how well I can um, you know or if I can grab kind of individual ones in here so let's try to uh, let me figure out a technique for this okay let me just kind of spread these out like so okay and I don't know, let's see how many um, I end up adding in here. I have really no idea. Let's see if I can get some of these larger ones in here. And my last piece, I was thinking, ah, it's too bad some of these aren't kind of smaller. But now that I look at them, they are pretty small. Um, but I was getting uh, multiples kind of um, glowing into, kind of gl yeah, like glowing, like a um, adhering on, to these uh, little glue dots like a pile so I'm gonna add maybe a smaller dot in some of these areas good thing for the uh, kind of the precision applicator thing with these uh, new types of uh, glue I don't know it's newer types uh, than you know 20 years ago or something like that um, I'm gonna add quite a few in here. I'm gonna start in one area and then I'll work from there. Okay, this side right here, my little picker, gem picker, uh, kind of tore at the top at one point in time. Uh, let me see if this one's, yeah, it's working okay here. Where is it? I guess I can kind of position these, um, you know, with a specific direction too, if I do it just kind of one by one like this. Some of these little pieces are more of like a, a kind of purplish color. Okay, now some of these are rather 3D as well, I'm seeing. Some of these are re rather flat, and maybe that's kind of a better shape. I don't know. Let's see, that one didn't apply. Where is it? Is it on there? I lost it. Where it went, we do not know.
However, these types of things like this, um, where I'm applying it, um, they're not really designed for this. They're kind of designed to be used in a, um, resin pores, I believe, uh, more than anything than sitting on the surface of something. So we'll see what we can do here. I don't expect these to, you know, all of them to adhere on here for, you know, too long. But as long as we get, you know, the, kind of the majority on there that are um, adhered, I think we're looking fine. I'm trying to turning these for the most part, if they're kind of elongated, I'm turning them uh, uh, in that direction to match my rocks and the direction they're going because they're uh, kind of all drawn in, you know, kind of perspective. So if you played um, Operation when you were a kid, you're all set here. <laughs> Not really. It's nothing like the nothing that precise. Okay, reapplying some glue here. Some of my glue's uh, drying pretty fast. That being said, I should probably. Put this pin back in here. As I'm working. Oops. Don't lose that. Okay, at this point in time, I'm just kind of grabbing and I'm reaching into my uh, little cap here and I'm kind of grabbing uh, just about anything. I'm not being too color specific, okay? I am kind of going for um, some of these flatter ones. Some of them are kind of real, kind of almost like a pyramid. Um, in terms of the shape. So I'm going for the flatter, kind of shardy ones that will uh, lay a little bit flatter here and I think just have a better chance of adhering and lasting for a long time uh, on the surface like this, okay? And some of these are a little bit dark. I don't think they're going to be very reflective. So I'll try to go for some of those that are a little bit more reflective, maybe too. <laughs> now that I look at it. Okay. Keeping track of my glue. I guess they can't be completely flat, but okay, do you see those right down there? Some of those little blingy rocks right in there? Yeah, there we go. That. Let's take a look and see what it looks like in context, meaning with the uh, pieces right here. Yeah, see these little pieces right in here? We'll do it and we'll do a little comparison contrast with this other side. We'll see if these three-dimensional pieces are doing anything at all. Yeah, I guess they do capture that light. See, like that? Oh yeah, you go like that, 
and some of them shine. Some of them are shining this way. See like that? See how those move? Okay, there we go, right there. So if you kind of move this around a little bit like that, they start going off like little lights in, I don't know, whatever sequence, I guess. And they're different colors and they're, they're all at different angles too. So they're not all just like on, off, on, off. So it's a little bit irregular, which is kind of cool with that down there. All right, so we have a long ways to go with uh, some additional forms around in this area. I think what I'll do is I'll, I don't know, let's, let's add some down here and then I'll just uh, fast forward uh, to, uh, you know, kind of some uh, final results as far as this uh, medium goes and I'll show you what that looks like. But I'll see if, uh, I don't know, anything else comes to mind. Okay, so right out here, I'm going to have some kind of extending out a little bit more. I think now that I see, you know, what they look like. And I'm doing kind of an elongated little dot of glue here, too, I think. And just adding on a little bit more glue. Maybe I'm adding too many of these dots down. I, I'm guessing you don't want to add too many down at one time, maybe. Uh, but because by the time you get to them, they might be a little bit dry, but we'll see. We'll see if I end up working any faster or not. And we'll see if that kind of that large little dollop of glue helps out. I don't know. Starting to run out of uh, some larger ones in here. Some of these are a little bit more kind of amethyst in color too. Here's a good one. <laughs> I'm trying to flip it around to see if there's kind of a flatter side to it. Maybe uh, larger ones in the foreground, and maybe working with some of those smaller ones in the background in here. Some of these are like uh, green um, emeralds too, the, the, the glass. And some of them are kind of multicolored, I see. The glue doesn't necessarily dry super fast, but I think that the emulsion in the paper is kind of creating um, a faster drying time. Because it's just designed to, you know, dry really quickly after you print um, whatever you're printing on top of it. Uh, through a, an inkjet printer. That was a little bit too thin and narrow. All right, so we're drying here. Let's get 
small glue down. Oh, we'll probably figure out a faster way to do this in the future, but uh, on this one, I want to be pretty careful about it. I want to see kind of, you know, we want to see where we can kind of, I don't know, take something to, I don't know, the max, you know, and then we'll kind of back up from there, you know, making kind of some faster processes or uh, quick versions of this piece. But let's see where we can uh, take it here and kind of a little bit more of a you know, kind of targeted, uh, precise application. I guess, I don't know, I poured it on the first time, but then I was like removing um, some of my pieces too. And it was really difficult to see what was kind of going on just kind of pouring it on and, you know, kind of wondering, um, you know, what adhered, what it was going to look like. This I can, you know, I can, you know, glass by glass, I can tell what's, uh, you know, what it's looking like. It's a good purple amethyst one right there. Okay, that's what we're looking at right here. These little twinklies down here, like that. I think they blend in, you know, reasonably well. Um, like at a certain angle, you can really see them kind of sticking out, but you know, just looking at them straight on or a little bit of an angle like that, pretty good integration. Like that, does that look uh, kind of a little bit more three dimensional there? I mean, it is three dimensional, but you know, just in the uh, context of the uh, scene, I think that looks pretty decent. Okay, so I'm going to place some more in these areas right in here, okay? And then I'll probably adhere some to these areas up here as well, I'm guessing. Um, but we'll just start off with this water area down here, so... I'm going to pause this and I'll show you what it looks like with the uh, area down here a little bit more complete. All right. So we've positioned more of the rocks in these uh, locations right here. So this is what it looks like. And a decent amount of little bling. I think for the most part, when you look at it though, see how they integrate into the piece, but then, you know, they kind of stand out. I, I, at first I was like, I, I kind of wanted them to stand out a little bit more with some of that lighting on it. I think that's it's not bad. It uh, kind of integrates pretty well. Let's take a look at it again in context with the rest of the piece right here. Okay, so we got those little shiny little bits in here. See how that, like right in here, those areas kind of come alive a little bit more. 
you know, when we get that kind of reflective type of uh, lighting on. Okay, now, yeah, you can see it right here. See at this angle right here? All these little bits like that kind of stand out a little bit more. I see on this side. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Okay, there we go. That one's like glistening right there. Okay, here we go. Like over here, you see these ones kind of coming alive right over here with a certain light on it. So it's like these little, it's almost like these little colored LEDs or something like that are going off. I, it doesn't have to be LEDs, but um, you know, with that certain lighting on them like that. I think that looks pretty good. Now I considered putting some of that type of stuff up here, but I think that might be overkill, so. If anything, I mean, it's it's pretty subtle. I, it can really, I didn't want to go overboard with it, but I think it can really take a lot more. So let's see this right here. If you can zoom in a little bit more, you can see some of those little pieces in here. See, there's quite a few in there. Right, right there. So it's like, like this. You can really tell. Take a look at them up there. Now, if this wasn't holographic, you know, these things are standing out even more, but they might not be standing out in a good way, though. In here, they really integrate with that background. Okay, so, like I said, if I put them up here, maybe that would be a little bit too much. I'm not sure. But I think that's a pretty good uh, start to the, uh, you know, these... Uh, little additions here. Um, it's, I guess it's not quite so subtle of an addition, but um, as far as our embellishments, I guess, you know, we can say on these pieces right here. So that was definitely, um, you know, the, the first thing that I wanted to do was add those um, colored rocks in there because I thought that would be perfect for this um, kind of scenario here. So I'm going to try to figure it out from here, um, you know, what the next step would be in here. Um, I do have some glitters, but I think that would just be too much. I kind of like this. I thought about putting a little trail of uh, lighting down this, but I think that would be a, a little bit too much. Although we want to, like I said, I, I do wouldn't mind throwing the kitchen sink at this with a bunch of different things, but we'll just kind of build it um, step by step. We'll figure out um, some things to do kind of right around in here as well. And I think I want to put in some crystal um, uh, gemstones, rhinestones in um, some of these areas, like on the rocks themselves. Right here, it was kind of representing um, the areas in the water. And I think I want to have some little twinkly kind of bling in there. And then if I add that, um, we might be able to add some gold or silver elements as well. And we'll see what that does in terms of the, uh, the reflective quality of it. Um, I can use some um, different pens, things like that. I think some white paint pen in here on some of these highlighted areas will be good too. So I don't know, just kind of throwing out some uh, ideas here uh, and just uh, thinking out loud. But um, we'll get to that in the next step.